And also, let me bring in Nalin Kohli, let me bring in General Bakshi, let me bring in Tehseen uh, Punawala. Uh, All uh, of them deserve to speak. Dr. Ranganathan, what's your take tonight? Rahul Gandhi says, or his party to be very precise, after he said that he was going to fly the Tiranga at Lal Chowk, suddenly has done a U-turn and said, no, 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 we're not doing it. We don't want to follow RSS traditions. Good evening, Rahul. Uh, you know, I'll tell you why he's done a sudden U-turn. Not that he's not adept at doing sudden and non-sudden U-turns. But the fact is, at least in Kashmir and at least as far as Rahul Gandhi is concerned, the man is known by the company he keeps. So let's look at Rahul Gandhi's friends in Kashmir. Number one, Farooq Abdullah. Let me quote him verbatim. Quote, they want to abolish 370 and we'll remain silent. Inshallah, we will fight. We dare them. Allah would want that we gain independence from India, unquote. The other friend, Mehbooba Mufti, she threatened rivers of blood if 370 was abrogated, rivers of blood. She shed tears and mourned the death of terrorist Vani. She said, quote, flags other than the tricolor will fly if 370 was abrogated. She threatened sedition by saying, quote, why would a Muslim majority state want to stay with India, unquote. But, you know, there is a saying that an apple never falls far from the tree. So let me quote a few historical examples as well. Let me utter a quote verbatim now that I'm in a habit of this right now. Quote, nothing wrong with having the Union Jack in a corner of our flag. We must take note of virtues of the British, unquote. You know who said this? Mahatma Gandhi. The same virtuous British killed 35 million Indians, manufactured 12 famines, drove our life expectancy to mere 32 years in 1947, looted 45 trillion, broke us in two. And finally, if I may dare, can I correct you also? You were talking of hoisting of flags and unfurling. Rahul, did you know that on August 15, 1947, Mountbatten told Nehru to not lower the Union Jack because, quote, it would make him unhappy. Nehru agreed. The Indian National Army protested. They weren't allowed to enter the Red Fort. The British flag wasn't even lowered on our Independence Day. And finally, 30 seconds as for uh, Mr. Chaudhary and Congress's claim that no one from the RSS took part in freedom struggle. I guess they have graduated from the WhatsApp University. They don't know the legendary names like Dada Nayak from Chimur, Maharashtra, Ramdas Rampure, Sant Tuktoji Maharaj, and Hemu Kalani. So what I'm saying is that I repeat, an apple never falls far from a tree. And this tree, let me give this to Rahul Gandhi, is 100 years old. So you have to quote all the historical antecedents. Well, Dr. Ranganathan, thank you for that uh, bit of perspective. Uh, 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 you, didn't mention, uh, uh, Rahul, you didn't mention rotten apples, though. The <laughs> ones that uh, are growing. Kashmiri apples. Yeah, rotten Kashmiri apples. I wish you had also...